Here is a trending term, asynchronous telemedicine, and I will try to describe it in one minute. Let's go. With the progress of digital health, especially due to the pandemic's impact, remote care has become a popular approach in the healthcare setting. It can come in two forms, synchronous and asynchronous telemedicine. Synchronous refers to having discussions in real time. The patient and the healthcare provider are in person or connected to have a live consultation. Asynchronous telemedicine is the opposite. You share data, questions or medical records, but there is no live communication. It can come in various forms, like forwarding a recorded video or audio message to a health practitioner. Text messages and emails all belong to this category. You take a picture of a skin lesion and a dermatologist will check it out at some point in the near future and send you a diagnosis. As the communication is not live, you don't need all the parties of the conversation to be there at the same time and or at the same place. It can increase efficiency for practices in managing their workload and it provides a convenient setting for transmitting large amounts of health data. It has downsides too. Delays in response may lead to delays in evaluation and treatment. Communication may be less efficient and less personal. However, the question is not whether it will come, but how we can make the most of it. If you like this video, please subscribe below. So you will get notified about all the videos we come up with. Plus, please check out the digitalhealthcourse.com, the platform where you can learn all the things around digital health and the future of healthcare.